Hello, friends. Today's Bible passage is Ezekiel chapters 13 through 15. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who are now prophesying. Say to those who prophesy out of their own imagination, Hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Your prophets, O Israel, are like jackals among ruins. You have not gone up to the breaks in the wall to repair it for the house of Israel, so that it will stand firm in the battle on the day of the Lord. Their visions are false, and their divinations a lie. They say, the Lord declares, when the Lord has not sent them. Yet they expect their words to be fulfilled. Have you not seen false visions, and uttered lying divinations, when you say, the Lord declares, though I have not spoken? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because of your false words and your lying visions, I am against you, declares the Sovereign Lord. My hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and utter lying divinations. They will not belong to the council of my people or be listed in the records of the house of Israel nor will they enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. Because they lead my people astray, saying, Peace, when there is no peace. And because, when a flimsy wall is built, they cover it with whitewash. Therefore, tell those who cover it with whitewash that it is going to fall. Rain will come in torrents, and I will send hailstones hurtling down, and violent winds will burst forth. When the wall collapses, will people not ask you, Where is the whitewash you covered it with? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. In my wrath, I will unleash a violent wind, and in my anger, hailstones and torrents of rain will fall with destructive fury. I will tear down the wall you have covered with whitewash, and will level it to the ground, so that its foundations will be laid bare. When it falls, you will be destroyed in it, and you will know that I am the Lord. So I will spend my wrath against the wall and against those who cover it, covered it with whitewash. I will say to you, the wall is gone, and so are those who whitewashed it. Those prophets of Israel who prophesied to Jerusalem and saw visions of peace for her when there was no peace, declares the Sovereign Lord. Now, son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own imagination. Prophesy against them and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to the women who sew magic charms on all their wrists and make their veils of various lengths for their heads in order to ensnare people. Will you ensnare the lives of my people but preserve your own? You have profaned me among my people for a few handfuls of barley and scraps of bread. By lying to my people, who listen to lies, you have killed those who should not have died and have spared those who should not live. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against your magic charms, with which you ensnare people like birds, and I will tear them from your arms. 
I will set free the people that you ensnare like birds. I will tear off your veils and save my people from your hands, and they will no longer fall prey to your power. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you disheartened the righteous with your lies, when I have brought them no grief, and because you encouraged the wicked not to turn from their evil ways and so save their lives. Therefore, you will no longer see false visions or practice divination. I will save my people from your hands, and then you will know that I am the Lord. Some of the elders came down to me and said, and sat and down in front of me. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, these men have set up idols in their hearts and put wicked stumbling blocks before their faces. Should, should I let them inquire of me at all? Therefore, speak to them and tell them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. When any Israelite sets up idols in his heart and puts a wicked stumbling block before his face and then goes to a prophet, I, the Lord, will answer him myself in keeping with his great idolatry. I will do this to recapture the hearts of the people of Israel who have all deserted me for their idols. Therefore, Say to the house of Israel, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Repent! Turn from your idols and renounce all your detestable practices. When any Israelite or any alien living in Israel separates himself from me and sets up idols in his heart and puts a wicked stumbling block before his face and then goes to a prophet to inquire of me, I, the Lord, will answer him myself. I will set my face against that man and make him an example and a byword. I will cut him off from my people. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And if the prophet is enticed to utter a prophecy, I, the Lord, have enticed that prophet and I will stretch out my hand against him and destroy him from among my people Israel. They will bear their guilt. The prophet will be as guilty as the one who consults him. Then the people of Israel will no longer stray from me, nor will they defile themselves any more with all their sins. They will be my people, and I will be their God, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, if a country sins against me by being unfaithful, and I stretch out my hand against it to cut off its food supply and send famine upon it and kill its men and their animals, even if these three men Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it. They could save only themselves by their righteousness, declares the Sovereign Lord. Or if I send wild beasts through that country, and they leave it childless, and it becomes desolate, so that no one can pass through it because of the beasts, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, even if all these three men were in it, they could not save their own sons or daughters. They alone would be saved, but the land would be desolate. Or if I bring a sword against that country and say, let this sword pass throughout the land, and I kill its men and their animals, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, even if these three men were in it, they could not save their own sons and daughters. They alone would be saved. Or if I send a plague into that land, 
and pour out my wrath upon it through bloodshed, killing its men and their animals. As surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, even if Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they could save neither son nor daughter. They would save only themselves by their righteousness. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says. How much worse will it be when I send against Jerusalem my four dreadful judgments, sword and famine and wild beasts and plague, to kill its men and their animals? Yet there will be some survivors, sons and daughters who will be brought out of it. They will come to you, and when you see their conduct and their actions, you will be consoled regarding their disaster. The disaster I have brought upon Jerusalem, every disaster I have brought upon it, you will be consoled when you see their conduct and their actions, for you will know that I have done nothing in it without cause, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, how is the wood of a vine better than that of a branch of any of the trees in the forest? Is wood ever taken from it to make anything useful? Do they make pegs from it to hang things on? And after it is thrown on the fire as fuel, and the fire burns both ends and chars the middle, then is it useful for anything? If it was not useful for anything when it was whole, how much less can it be made into something useful when the fire has burned it and made it charred? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. As I have given the wood of the vine among the trees of the forest as fuel for the fire, so will I treat the people living in Jerusalem I will set my face against them. Although they have come out of the fire, the fire will yet consume them. And when I set my face against them, you will know that I am the Lord. I will make the, man, uh, the land desolate, because they have been unfaithful, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord through the prophet Ezekiel. Thanks be to God. Have a great day.